got three chambers, you got your fast mixer, and then your reaction mixer, and then you've got your rake. This muddy Mississippi water goes into the reaction mixer. It has to go down and under a wall, and then goes goes into the rapid mixer. Goes under a wall. Goes into the normal mixer. Goes over a wall, and then it flows up through the clarifier. You got all those plates. You got little holes on the plates. Clean water comes out, and then the, the sludge settles down. The rake is just supposed to keep the stuff on the bottom from settling and becoming a rock. So, what this is doing is it's like You've got a mason jar, and you scoop up a bunch of Mississippi River water, and you just leave it on the table, and then all it just gravity does its thing, and all the stuff settles at the bottom, and then you have poke, you take you suck off the top where the water's clean. But it's doing it at 5,000 gallons a minute, and the way you've got to do that to let that gravity thing work is you've got to slow down the water. So you take the water from a pipe that's this big and put it in a pipe that is the size of the clarifier going up, right? So it's like a pipe the size of this room. So in terms of gallons per minute, 5,000 gallons a minute goes in, 5,000 gallons a minute comes out. But in terms of speed, the water is going from, you know, 50 miles an hour down to, uh, I don't know, a mile an hour, a walking pace. What, do we do? what happens with the sludge? Pump it out. Take it out of the sludge tank. Got sludge pumps. And then sludge tank. And then Hill Services takes that out to the landfill, right? That is not normal operation. I can't believe you guys just not have someone said that. Goes to the filter press. All right. It does. It does happen that way. It's not how it's supposed to happen. But yeah. I, thought, I really just thought that's where you were going. <laughs> so then we pump a sludge from the sludge tank into the filter press, and you fill it up. Pulls the sludge tank down. The water comes out, and goes to the drain, and all the sludge gets caught in there. And then we blow dry it. And then you open up the plates and it falls down like dumpster in the mud. And then Boral comes and takes the dumpster out to the landfill. All right. <clears throat> we had chemical stuff though. Yeah, yeah chemical. Polymer, 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 Coagulant, polymer, and more hypo. Polymer actually goes yeah, right in that chamber. That line goes right into the clarifier. Actually, we have a mixture now. Mm -hmm. oh. yeah. You're saying polymer doesn't go there? Nope. There's, there's three fucking pipes there. Yeah. I'm taking your word for this, Lance. I'm going to have to walk it out later. Yeah. You might be teaching me something today. Yeah. That actually goes in. There's three taps down here at the ground level, and I thought all three chemicals went in there, and now I'm being told that the polymer is going up directly into the rapid right. mixer, and I'm going to have to look at that. And then I'm going to have to figure out what that other third tap is, because I know that pipe's there. 
you look at the cable tray coming up, yep, you go to the rapid mixer, look off the back, and the cable tray coming up, you can see the uh, polymer line coming in and going down. So, we already said coagulant is a snot, and uh, it makes the dirt and mud in the river stick to stick together and make floss. And then the hypo is to kill growies to prevent biologic fouling. And when we don't use enough hypo, you'll see these plates get kind of freaking covered with uh, moss and algae and stuff up there. And then uh, polymer, what's the purpose of that? It makes it a uh, flat plate. It makes the clumpies clumpier. So the polymer helps the coagulant clumps stick to each other. So you get there. You can only get so much mud around a coagulant clump, and then the polymer makes those clumps stick together and make bigger clumps. All right. Then the uh, we go through the turbidity meter. What's turbidity mean? How cloudy the water is. Same thing as opacity. It's very similar to opacity. Uh, it's still violent. You got a, you got the water. You shine a light through it. With opacity, you're measuring how much light doesn't make it through. With uh, with turbidity, you're measuring like 90 degrees off how much light got reflected sideways from it. But you're it's the same thing. You're measuring cloudiness, how much stuff is floating your way, and you're using light to do it. Tower. This is also going to where? 